This is Twit. Our very own J.R. Rayfield from Android Intelligence has a two-part chromocopia of Ooh. tips for Google Chrome. So what you got for us, J.R.? Hey, gang. Today I want to talk Chrome. I've got a couple of really cool, completely hidden shortcuts to share with you. And now these aren't the standard Chrome Android shortcut fair, you know, the stuff you've heard about a million times by now and no inside and out, like what, swiping down from the top of the screen to see your open tabs or anything like that. In fact, I'd be willing to wager, and let me know if I'm right, that at least one of these will be completely new to you. Let's find out. All right, so first, you know how Chrome always shows you the total number of tabs you have open at any given moment up there in its upper right corner? It's a little something I like to think of as my Android browser badge of shame. That number, man, whew, it just somehow always seems to get embarrassingly high over time, doesn't it? Is it just me? Well, either way, get this. If you press and hold that box for about a second, you'll see a splendidly useful menu of time-saving tab options pop up. It's hands down the fastest way to close your current tab or open a new one, be it regular or incognito, without wasting a single second or unnecessary action. And all you've got to do is realize it's there. Next, tap the actual address of whatever site you're looking at in Chrome on your phone right now. Whatever site you've got pulled up right now, go ahead and try if you want. See what happens? That'll pull up a little used launch pad that's just jam-packed with awesome little time savers. The icons right next to the site's name will let you share the page anywhere, copy its address, edit the address within the Chrome address bar, just in case you need to adjust it in any way or whatnot. Now that part's pretty obvious, I know, but beneath that, Pay attention and you'll see some icons for other sites that Chrome thinks you might want to pull up next. And beneath that should be some search terms that are in some way related to whatever page you were just looking at. Now, for the really cool part, if you tap that line with the search suggestions, the one that says related to this page, Chrome will collapse that list of search suggestions down. And a lot of times it'll then show you a second list beneath that with specific recent searches that you've performed either on your phone or on any other device where you're signed into the same account. And you can then hop right back to those searches with just one more tap. Kind of handy, right? We'll stop there for now. We'll pick up with two more useful Chrome shortcuts next week. And these two, these are ones that I will be really, really impressed if you already know about. The challenge is on. We will see. Keep me posted. Hey, if you love shortcuts as much as I do, you've got to check out a cool little course I put together called the Android Shortcut Super Course. It's a full week of lessons featuring some of my favorite tucked away time savers all throughout Android. You can check it out for yourself. Sign up now for free at androidintel.net slash twit. Just look toward the bottom of the page to find it. That link again is androidintel.net slash twit. I'll see you there and I'll see you right back here next week. Some very questionable search history there, <laughs> Jr. Um, okay, so I thought we'd we'd uh, do something uh, a little fun. We all have phone with Chrome installed on it, so I want okay. everybody to to open up their Chrome browser, and we're all gonna read how many tabs we have siloed away in that in that little box. Well, that's not nice. Well, I mean it. I mean, oh, no. <laughs> I'm really curious. Mine, I'll, I'll go ahead and start. Mine's 54, apparently. Apparently, wow. I have 54 links. And, and I do go in there Wait. every once in a while and just, like, close them all. I don't know how they build up. They just do. What wins? Is it a low number or a high number? Oh, no. I, uh, I it's get, like golf. <clears throat> it's, if it's no, like it's, golf, I think, gonna be I think a word for both. Yeah. The, I've got. So, Jason, I'll, I'll see your 54 and match that with 10. So you've only got 10. I've only got 10. So you, so you manage your, your open and like you close them as you go along. I do. Oh, okay. I do not do that. I eventually, although I haven't done it in a few days cause I see about like three days worth of like tab, like Mets magic number. Um, Wait, there's uh, a second way in auto fiction. There's a, for second. some reason I saw, for some reason I searched Tim Cook's parents. There's a second part <laughs> of this question. You guys, <laughs> you're wondering if they actually raised him right after last week. I, yeah. I don't know. It clearly was related to the, the messages thing. Like, I don't know what, what my train of thought was, but I wanted to know Tim Cook's parents were alive. <laughs> and it needs to be how many tabs do you have open in each tab group and how many tab groups do you have? open? Wait a minute. Tab groups. Yeah. I, don't have, I don't have any tab yeah. groups. Oh, come on, Jason. I don't have any tab groups. 
I that just, was Burke. I accounted for that. It was ten. I had ten tabs open in, okay. in, a, in like seven groups or something like that. So yeah. So you have how many pages open and how and how many in each group? I, I never have more than two tabs open in a group though, because like wait, I, wait. I I always close them. So you guys are using groups on your Chrome for Android. Yeah, not on purpose. Yeah. It, it not just, on purpose. Just never on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> never on purpose. Oh. I do. It happen. Oh, really? I don't know how to navigate. Yeah, them very because well. I I do online shopping, and I don't want to download the uh, app, so I'll geez. have like a tab group open to both places. I'm like, <laughs> like window what shopping. What am I missing out. out on? You're not missing out on anything. I, I know. Well, how how am I not accidentally doing groups? I just have a bunch of random links. You know. Anyways, uh, I'm apparently missing the boat on something. Okay, so 54 was me. Ron was 10. Yeah. Uh, when? Where, where are you at? <laughs> I'm I heard... 12 years old. I have 69 tabs open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So how many tabs? Nice. Ignore me. Uh, probably none, actually. I, I avoid them like the, like the plague now. No tab yeah. groups. Nope. Okay. No, no, no. All right. So you're currently in the lead if what we're looking for is who who has the most open flow. It comes down to this. Actually, I, I want to know where Burke's at, too. But flow. what about you? Um. OK, we'll we'll do this on my primary device, yeah. which yeah. I haven't been using very much because oh, okay. that uh, could change things. I literally have one tab open. Oh, just, oh, wow. But wait, wait. Ask me duck, duck, go. Oh, d uh. How many in DuckDuckGo? I have 12. Okay. All right. You're still not... <clears throat> sorry, my voice is going. Still not winning, and you're not losing, so... <laughs> it's because <laughs> I'm, like, I'm a stickler about just... I don't like having all those yeah. open tabs. But see, that's the thing. With, with Chrome on Android, it's really easy for them to just, like, exist. Uh, here. Sorry. It's really easy for them to just exist in their own little silo. Like, I never... I never care until I notice the number and then I go in there and I swipe them all away. But you know what? I'm, so, I'm not actually battling 54 links at any given time on my phone. You know what I mean? So it's easy for me to forget. Burke, where are you at? I have three tab groups, but only th one in each tab. Okay. But on my old phone, I would, I would have probably four tab groups with anywhere from like six or seven to more per... Search. Per group, but it's only because like they changed the way that Chrome deals with it, and then you're they kind of force you, like it's kind of it seems arbitrary. You're like you can't just do open and tab. It's like now I have to open in a new tab group. Hmm. So I don't know, but is it? I, and I close them all the time too. So unless it's like I'm doing research for something, and then I just leave it open because I come back to it. Do you do you all open Chrome? open a new tab and then go from there? Or do you just do your searches in the, just the search do it from bar? there. From the search oh, bar? Oh, no, I open, I, open I, Chrome, I open Chrome and say new tab and then do it from there. I never do Same. that. This is the wow. difference. Okay, this is the difference yeah. then. I think we've spotted the difference. I, I ne never use the search I don't bar. Even, yeah. I don't even keep Chrome on my on my home screen because I always wow. feel like it's it's pointless. Like, I, there's a search bar down at the bottom of my screen, right? So anytime I want to go to the web to do something, oh, I just go there. It's because you have in. a pixel. Yes, I suppose so. Well, uh, Some of us don't use Google phones. but the, And there's no, well, okay, all right, yeah. And I guess they wouldn't install uh, that search bar there by default. Well, if they did, the EU yeah, would probably slam them with a big antitrust. Well, uh, no, ruling. I just want to add that the problem is that like on the OnePlus 9, um, the the search bar that you get in the Discover screen or whatever it's called now, the feed, is not the same search as the Chrome search. Mm -hmm. oh, the okay. Google app search. Okay. Yeah, I, I have that problem where... Sometimes if I'm in Chrome, I'm, I'm like searching for something similar to shopping and something, and I kind of want to keep all my search results in one place. If I mess up or just forget myself and then go to the Google search tab, that's like a different browsing history. history. Yeah, yeah. So then I'm like, where did my tab go? So I, I, I've, it's more of a choice because I have too many choices to just stick with Chrome because then I get all my tabs and organize, not in tab groups, but just, you know, yeah, it's all there. And see how, how, I mean, obvi obviously I just end up collecting links. That's why my number is so high, but how I end up doing it, I'm realizing now is I use that search bar for like 99% of any of the internet. Like I want to go to a website. I will, I will use that search bar and do it. If I want that site to persist when, mm -hmm. when I go away, then I go to the menu and I say open in Chrome and then that moves mm -hmm. it over to Chrome or that just kind of 
makes it reside in Chrome going forward. Otherwise, it will just disappear. And I, I guess in my mind, I'm like, well, that's great because most of the time I go to web pages, I don't want them to persist. I want them to go away. But what it ends up meaning is any of those times that I do move it over to Chrome, I never clear it out. So that number increases, but it's less than if I was to do all of my uh, searching in Chrome, I suppose. So anyways, eh, interesting. We all have different ways of doing that. I like it. I love that discovery and discoveries cool. like it. Right. All right. Thank you for, uh, for the tip JR, by the way, it obviously gave us something to, <laughs> to think about and we'll look forward to next week's part two of the saga of Chrome.